B. Many fish. 24th, January 2018. And I was just gearing up to show you some stuff that's coming my path here, I guess. And I was getting some great insight from Brother John B. And gearing up to make this video about, you know, Pence, Jerusalem, Israel in general, the wall. How all these uh, guys go to this wall every time, right? And, you know, I get it. I understand. It's symbolic. In, in some of these people, it is it is actually a spiritual experience. But you got to remember, if you're in a position like this, and you're doing things in the dark to the level where it's uh, basically the lives of millions of people, kind of, you know, if they get in your way, Let's face it, folks, that's the system in this world. No matter how good of a man or a woman you are, you succumb to these things when you strive to be in positions of power and authority. That's the way it works. It's supposed to be a responsibility, and it's not taken that way, even by the good ones. Okay, so I'm not finger pointing at anybody. I don't know anybody's heart. I'm not here to condemn anybody. However... He's here at the Knesset in his purple tie with the uh, likeness of the wall that they portray there in the Knesset with these weird other things. I don't know what they are. I don't, I'm not saying they're some secret thing, but nonetheless, they mimic the wall. And they do their work here at the Knesset, which is part of this complex, with along with the Israeli Supreme Court which was, you know, basically funded by the Rothschilds and, you know, etc. Et Today's royalty, if you will. Today's purple people. Because that's where this connection with all the purple comes in. You know what I mean? And so, I was going to do a very, very detailed video on this. Going back into Solomon's Temple and Hiram. It's, it's fascinating stuff. But I made the mistake, which it was in this case, of just doing a quick drudge refresh. And uh, I'm scanning over stuff, and it's the usual, you know, craziness. And, I mean, there's so many things that we could just pull information out of that it, it's just pouring out. But I scroll down here, and lo and behold, we have none other than Barney the Purple Dinosaur, okay? And now Barney, these days, is uh, running a tantric sex business. And, you know, granted, this is vice, and it comes from drudge, I get it, but nonetheless, this is, this is being uh, portrayed here as just this wonderful spiritual thing. This man claims to get people closer to God. He does it with his goddesses, of course. He only takes female clients, and it's quite graphic, this article, and he does all kinds of things with these women to release their goddess energy. See the uh, the text there? This is how graphic this article is. And it's all about, in this man's view, you know, he claims to get people closer to God. Through sex, of all things. But it's not just sex. It is clearly and repeatedly in here what he refers to of the power of the goddess energy. You see where I'm coming from? The goddess energy. Oh man, this is just insane. So it threw my uh, my concentration off of the other <laughs> the other thing I was going to show you. Maybe I'll just jump right back into that. But can you actually believe this? Yes, you can, because you're awake and you can see. And if you're out there and you don't know what I'm referring to, all I could tell you is if you're curious enough, you will open the Holy Bible and you will ask with absolute sincerity and humility to know the truth from the one only true Father God in heaven, our Father who art in heaven. But, you know, that's not my charge to... to preach to you. I'm just showing you how this wickedness so subtly, so subtly creeps its way into our very existence and consumes everything in its path. If you're not 
washed in the blood of Christ Jesus and standing on the rock. That's all I can tell you. I'll uh, link this article. Peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 